what do you think you're doing? I'm doing an interview. Look at the crew. Oh. I just asked you the first question and I'm filming you. Bye. Yes. Keep that in the cut. Yes. <laughs> Atapo is a luxury passive premium um, fashion brand. We are a functional fashion brand and the ethos of the brand is satura craftsmanship which we now dilute into both menswear and women's wear. And we are also a bridal brand uh, where we do wedding dresses and you know, tuxedos and suits for you. Well, 19 days to the show, what is missing in my head? Everything is missing. <laughs> because for me, if it's not together, it's still missing. But everyone is working tirelessly to make that happen. I do feel a huge responsibility in terms of pushing the frontier for Nigerian African fashion. I feel like, yeah, the burden is on, on me. I mean, not me solo, but I stand as one of the people trying to push that conversation. The band was established in 2010, but our first solo fashion show was in 2022, so it's 12 years later. It doesn't take every band 12 years, but in our contest, where to put up a show is really expensive. And to put it on solo, so you are bagging the whole cost, is ridiculously expensive. Doing the second one should be easier, but because we are literally almost tripling our capacity in terms of guests that come to watch the show. Last year was 400, now we're trying to do 1,000 plus. So if you're trying to do 1,000 plus, you need a bigger venue. And when it's a bigger venue, it's like, is it just bigger in size and not bigger in status? So if I just go for the biggest venue in the country, which is a cool term. Thank you for bringing the pictures out. Well, we'd have brought the rack from my office and just hung these things on there. So we we'll just actually use here and we'll just put this mirror. So this can come out. When people hear a co hotel, you you know what has happened, <laughs> and that's the kind of thing. That's the biggest and the most luxurious venue in, in the world. So it's like, let's take our message there. Let's start, you know, breaking ground and let people start understanding what we're trying to do with fashion and our fashion shows. Um, to the point that you wait for it in your calendar and pray you get an invite to attend the show. But when you make a collection, you design your look. I like to design outfits first. And I start separating them to say, okay, will somebody just buy this top by itself or this bottom by itself? Because people don't always buy uniforms, they buy pieces and stuff. So that's what we get. Um, we're shooting our campaign um, photos slash content for the show. So um, campaign images featuring some of our sponsors to announce that we will be using to announce our sponsorships slash print at the venue. I decided to do my own campaign shot for the sponsors because I feel like sponsors will give traditional posters. I don't want those traditional posters everywhere. It'll be there, but not everywhere. So I decided to do my own creative direction with some of the sponsor's products and I would have that blown out and used at the venue. Um, so it has more of a fashion bite to it than, than the brand itself. So I guess that, and that's, that's the reason why they're sponsoring or they're partnering with us is to have to infuse both brands. So we're doing invitations, we started sending out our invitations um, to guests for the show. So that's what I'm doing while I'm here. A good number of it's our customers, customers, celebrities, friends of the brand, um, some of the guests from our sponsors. Sponsors get to give us their list as well. But yeah, so mostly customers because it is, the show we're prioritizing our customer because it is for our customers to so see our collections. So mostly customers. We're waiting for a model who is. Two hours, 38 minutes late. 
we set our shoot around uh, the model who requested to be here for noon and it's 2 39 the model is not here my just my is leaving to come by food because he's hungry we're all hungry and tired how much people don't fuck up this is probably the most difficult shoot now i do not tell us i've not done shit that's crazy that's crazy those who were walking around like what happened with the model? Why is she not here? I had to sleep. I slept for like two hours. Good. I'm just disappointed because I mean we have a whole crew of people waiting. And that's not nice. And this makes us even look unserious to the people that are shooting in the annotation. And that's just Please, you're bringing Bukola, you're taking her to her house to bring some things, and then you're bringing her to um, Legalia, you're in the GSC model. Please, quick, 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 quick. I, we have, we've been waiting. Like the, we need, we need to start our shoot. The model didn't come, so we need to shoot her. So we've been waiting. Like we're two, we're two hours behind on the shoot. We're three hours behind. So please, as as quick as possible. Thank you. I don't, I don't know what excuses for not coming at time. I really do not want to know. 